The Rat Pack included Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop. The original Rat Pack members included Humphrey Bogart and a slew of visiting members, including Errol Flynn, Robert Mitchum, Nat King Cole, and Tony Curtis. But it was the 1960s Rat Pack members that we remember today. Sadly, they've since passed away, but they leave behind incredible legacies. Let's take a look back at their incredible lives and careers. Frank Sinatra Francis Albert Sinatra was born in Hoboken, New Jersey, December 12, 1915. He was the son of two Italian immigrants and grew up in relatively humble surroundings. At a young age, he developed an interest in music. He was particularly fond of big band jazz music and loved Bob Everly, Bing Crosby, Gene Austin, and Russ Colombo. When he turned 15, Frank received a ukulele from his uncle Domenico. He began playing it and singing at family gatherings, and soon became a huge hit. He became a self-taught musician and singer and began performing in the 30s with a variety of bands. By the 1940s, Frank was one of America's most popular singers. By the 50s, his film career had begun, and it wasn't long until he became a huge movie star. He had a suave persona, which made him a perfect fit to join a group of other Hollywood men who exemplified style and class. Frank Sinatra died on May 14, 1998 in Los Angeles after suffering two heart attacks. His music and acting career spanned six decades. Before we tell you more about how each of the Rat Pack members died, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Dean Martin in his day, Dean Martin was dubbed the King of Cool and was also a singer and actor just like Sinatra. He was born June 7, 1917 in Steubenville, Ohio. As a young man, he worked various odd jobs, including bootlegging, steel millwork, being a croupier, and even sparring as a welterweight boxer. He soon turned his sights on singing. Before long, he had become a popular singer, performing with bands as a solo artist. In the 1940s, he met comedian Jerry Lewis, and the two soon began performing together on stage. Before long, Dean became a regular in film and television. By the 1950s, he was one of America's biggest film and TV stars, even being the host of his own show, The Dean Martin Show. It was also during this time that he met Frank Sinatra, and they became friends. Dean Martin was sadly diagnosed with lung cancer in 1993. Two years later, he retired from public life and died Christmas Day at age 78. He died from acute respiratory failure resulting from emphysema. Sammy Davis Jr. The word trailblazer could have been invented for Sammy Davis Jr. He was born December 8, 1925 in New York City. He began his show business career at age 3, performing in vaudeville acts alongside his father. Upon his discharge from the Army after the Second World War, he continued to perform in nightclubs as a singer. He also began to perform different characters on stage, which won him much acclaim from audiences and critics alike. His film career took off in the 50s, and it wasn't long before he became a household name in both cinema and television. He was also lauded for being one of the first mainstream black American actors who refused to conform to degrading stereotypes. He met the other members of the Rat Pack in the 1950s. Like the other gentlemen, he became famous for his class and style. With the Rat Pack, he starred in the films Ocean's Eleven, Sargent's Three, and Robin and the Seven Hoods. Sammy Davis Jr. died May 16, 1994, at age 64. He died due to complications from throat cancer. His legacy remains as one of America's greatest entertainers and a trailblazer who paved the way for other black entertainers in film, television, music, and stage. Peter Lawford Peter Lawford was born as Peter Aylin in London, England on September 7, 1923. His family was connected to the English aristocracy, and he traveled around for much of his childhood, living in multiple countries. In the late 1930s, he and his family were traveling around the U.S. With the outbreak of the Second World War, they found themselves stranded in the country. Their money was stuck in the U.K., and before he knew it, Peter had to take on odd jobs to earn his living. He eventually found himself in Hollywood, where he worked in a movie theater as he sought work in films. He began his acting career as an extra before venturing into leading roles in the early 1940s. His first lead role was in the 1945 film Son of Lassie. He appeared in many of MGM's biggest hits of the 40s and 50s. These included My Brother Talks to Horses, It Happened in Brooklyn, Royal Wedding, and Rogue's March. In the 1950s, he also acted on popular TV shows, including Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Jane Wyman Presents the Fireside Theater, Screen Director's Playhouse, and Playhouse 90. In 1959, Frank Sinatra asked Peter to join the Rat Pack. He appeared in Ocean's Eleven with the other members of the pack. Peter Lawford passed away on Christmas Eve 1984 in Los Angeles from cardiac arrest. He was 61. Joey Bishop 
Joseph Gottlieb was born February 3, 1918 in the Bronx. Upon his discharge from the U.S. Army following World War II, he began performing as a stand-up. It was around this time that he chose his stage name, Joey Bishop. His early TV appearances included guest and host appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show, The Dinah Shore Chevy Show, The Tonight Show with Jack Parr, and The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. In the early 60s, he became the star of his own sitcom, The Joey Bishop Show. His popularity drew him to cinema, and he was cast in Ocean's Eleven, along with the other members of the Rat Pack. He appeared with his Rat Pack members in the film Sergeants 3. He and Dean Martin acted together in Texas Across the River. His other notable films included Who's Minding the Mint, Valley of the Dolls, The Delta Force, and Mad Dog Time. His other popular TV appearances included roles in Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, Chico and the Man, and Glory Years. Joey Bishop died October 17, 2007 in Newport Beach, California at age 89 due to multiple organ failure. The Trials and Tribulations of the Rat Pack the Rat Pack members were masters in their craft and were versatile performers who made strides on stage, in music, on TV, and in the cinema. They were one of the most loved ensembles in the entertainment industry and are still loved by fans today, but their real-life relationships weren't always so smooth. Sadly, Frank Sinatra and Joey Bishop had their issues. Joey found incredible success with his TV appearances and film roles. He began living large and demanded to meet with the other members on a private jet. Sinatra had concerns about Joey's success going to his head. He advised Joey not to go overboard with his demands. Joey resented this and later recalled that Frank behaved like a secretary. He also, at times, resented his membership in the Rat Pack. He felt he was often portrayed as an entertainer who got lucky by joining the Rat Pack rather than by getting in because of his talent and efforts. Sadly, the two of them never reconciled. Sammy Davis Jr. is recognized as an iconic black American entertainer. His bravery for performing during a time of hostile racism is looked upon with admiration. But one must also look back and learn about the horrific racism Sammy had to deal with in his life. For example, he would often headline nightclubs, but when he entered and exited the nightclub, he had to enter from the back door. He often wasn't allowed to mingle with white audiences following his performances. Sammy Davis Jr. was married to Swedish actress Mae Britt at a time when interracial marriages were uncommon and illegal in most of the U.S. He often had to deal with scorn from the public due to his marriage. In fact, President John F. Kennedy forbid Sammy Davis Jr. from performing at his inauguration due to the marriage. Later in life, Sammy dated actress Kim Novak. Because of this, he ended up receiving death threats. He was told he'd be killed unless he split from Kim. He eventually let her go and suffered from depression due to the incident and the threats. Peter Lawford was lucky to have lived quite a great life. However, he often had to hide the fact that his right hand was debilitated due to a serious injury. His family also suffered when they lost access to their wealth after being stranded in the U.S. In his later life, much of his fame came from his celebrity rather than his career. Dean Martin's son, Dean Paul, sadly died in a plane crash which he was piloting. This naturally had a severe impact on Dean. It led to him becoming reclusive in his later years. Frank Sinatra also had many depression issues throughout his life, including a few suicide attempts. He also had to deal with constant surveillance by the mafia and the FBI. The latter targeted Frank due to his supposed suspicious activities, including his involvement in fighting against racial prejudice. Regardless of these trials and tribulations, the Rat Pack members managed to stay dedicated to their craft. They're all remembered as some of America's greatest entertainers. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think there's a modern-day group of performers who can match the Rat Pack? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.